What does it take to be truly resilient, to stand tall amidst the storms of life? Resilience, it's more than just a word, it's a trait woven into the fabric of human existence. It's the ability to recover quickly, to bounce back from adversity, and to keep moving forward when the going gets tough. And if we look closely, we can see this trait mirrored in the natural world around us. Just as the mighty oak tree bends but does not break in the face of a raging storm, we too have this innate ability to withstand life's trials and tribulations. But what does resilience look like in human form, and how can we cultivate it within ourselves? These are the questions we seek to answer as we embark on this journey of discovery. We'll turn our gaze towards a continent rich in culture and history, a land where resilience is as much a part of the landscape as the towering Kilimanjaro or the sprawling Sahara. Yes, we're speaking of Africa and the myriad of heroes who have walked its soil. Their stories, often overlooked, are brimming with lessons of resilience that resonate even today. In this exploration, we won't just be looking at the well-known figures who have shaped history. Instead, we'll be delving into the lives of lesser-known heroes, individuals who have shown exceptional resilience in the face of adversity. Their stories may not be as widely known, but they carry powerful lessons for us all. From the bustling streets of Lagos to the serene landscapes of Nairobi, from the vibrant markets of Accra to the majestic plains of Luanda, these heroes have emerged, their spirits unbroken, their resilience unwavering. Their tales are not just stories, they are testimonials of the human spirit's indomitable strength and its capacity to endure. And as we delve into these stories of resilience, we hope to inspire you to harness your inner strength, to remind you that no matter the trials you face, you too, like these African heroes, possess the power of resilience. The journey may be tough, but remember, the strength you need to persevere lies within you. So stand tall amidst the storms of life, be resilient. Our first tale of resilience hails from Nigeria, the story of Funmilayo Ransom Kutis. Born in the late 19th century, Funmilayo Ransom Kutis' life was a testament to the power of resilience. She was a woman who dared to break boundaries and challenge societal norms in a time when women were relegated to the background. Funmilayo was not just an educator, she was a beacon of hope and a symbol of strength. Her passion for women's rights was ignited early, and she used her voice and influence to champion the cause of women in Nigeria. She waged a war against discriminatory taxes that were imposed on women, standing firm in her belief that no woman should bear the brunt of unjust taxation. This was a woman who refused to bow to injustice, no matter the cost. As an instrumental figure in the Nigerian women's movement, Fun Milayo was relentless in her pursuit of equality. She rallied women, stirring up a fervor that resonated across the nation. She was the catalyst that sparked a revolution, inspiring women to rise up and demand their rights. But her resilience was most apparent in her fearless opposition to the military government. Despite the dangers that came with standing up to an oppressive regime, Funmilayo never wavered. She was undeterred by the threats and intimidation, proving that true resilience is not the absence of fear, but the determination to press on despite it. Funmilayo Ransom Kuti, a woman who embodied fortitude and resilience, was more than just a national hero. She was a beacon of hope, a symbol of strength, and a testament to the power of resilience. Her life story serves as a reminder that we too can be resilient in the face of adversity. As we navigate the challenges of life, let us remember Fumilayo's words, we must be fearless. We have a duty to fight for our rights and the rights of those who cannot fight for themselves. Funmilayo Ransome Kuti, a testament to the power of resilience in the face of adversity. Next, we turn to the heart of Kenya, where Dedan Kimati's unyielding spirit burns bright. In the mid-20th century, as the sun began to set on British colonial rule, a new dawn was rising in Kenya, a dawn ignited by the relentless spirit of Dedan Kimati, a key figure in the Mau Mau uprising. Kimati, a man of humble beginnings, was not born a freedom fighter. He was a teacher, a husband, a father. But when the winds of injustice swept across his homeland, he could not stand idly by. He traded his chalk for a rifle, his classroom for the unforgiving forests of Mount Kenya, and his peaceful life for an unending struggle. Each day was a testament to his resilience. Despite the scarcity of resources, the harshness of the wilderness, and the constant threat of capture, Kimathi persevered. He led his fellow freedom fighters with an indomitable spirit that refused to buckle under the weight of adversity. The British colonial forces may have been armed with superior weaponry, but Kimathi was armed with something far more powerful, an unyielding spirit. He fought not for personal gain, but for the freedom of his people. He fought for a future where Kenyan voices 
voices echoed freely across the plains, unhampered by the shackles of colonial rule. In the face of overwhelming odds, Kimathi's spirit never wavered. He continued to resist, to fight, to inspire. Even his eventual capture and execution did not extinguish his flame. Instead, it served to fan the sparks of resistance into a blazing inferno that would ultimately consume colonial rule. Today, Dedan Kimathi stands as a symbol of resilience. His legacy lives on, not just in the annals of Kenyan history, but in the hearts of those who continue to fight against injustice, oppression, and inequality. His spirit, his resilience, his unyielding dedication to the cause of freedom, they serve as a biakon of hope for all who face adversity. Dedan Kimadi, a symbol of the unyielding spirit of resilience. Journey with us to 17th century Angola, where Queen Nzinga fearlessly fought for her people's freedom. Enter a world of unyielding spirit and power, where a woman stood firm in the face of adversity. This is the world of Queen Nzinga, a beacon of resistance and resilience, who ruled during a time of intense conflict and change. In the throes of the 17th century, Portuguese colonizers sought to seize control of Angola, driven by their insatiable thirst for power and riches. Yet, they would not find Angola an easy conquest. They were met with the indomitable spirit of Queen Nzinga, a woman who would not be subdued. Nzinga was no ordinary queen. She was a warrior, a diplomat, a leader who would not allow her people to be shackled by foreign invaders. She led her warriors into battle, resisting the Portuguese with a strength and courage that left them in awe. Her name became synonymous with resistance. Her legend echoed in the halls of history. When the battlefield was not enough, Nzinga turned to the negotiating table. She brokered peace treaties, leveraging her intelligence and wit to protect her people. She was a master at the art of diplomacy, using her words as weapons to fend off the colonizers. Yet, what truly set Nzinga apart was her resilience. She was a woman who faced a storm of challenges and stood unwavering, who stared into the face of adversity and did not blink. She was a queen who fought, not for power or glory, but for the freedom and dignity of her people. This is the story of Queen Nzinga, a woman whose spirit was as fierce as the warriors she led, whose resilience was as enduring as the land she ruled. Her legacy is a testament to the power of resistance, a testament to the strength of a woman who refused to be defeated. Queen Nzinga, a fearless fighter whose resilience left an indelible mark in history. What can we learn from these heroes of resilience? Their stories are not just tales of the past, but timeless lessons of courage, determination, and an unyielding spirit that each of us can apply in our own lives. From Funmilayo Ransom Kuti, Dedan Kimathi, to Queen Nzinga, they each faced significant challenges, yet they emerged victorious through their resilience. Funmilayo Ransom Kuti, the lioness of Lisabi, taught us that the fight for equality and justice is a worthy cause. Even when faced with daunting obstacles, she remained steadfast showing us that resilience is not just about enduring, but also about standing up for what is right, regardless of the odds. Dedan Kimathi, with his unyielding spirit, showed us that resilience means never giving up, no matter how tough the circumstances. His commitment to his cause, even in the face of extreme adversity, serves as a powerful reminder that the human spirit is capable of incredible strength and endurance. And then there's Queen Nzinga, the fearless fighter, who demonstrated that resilience is about rising above our fears and daring to confront the challenges head-on. Her bravery reminds us that courage is not the absence of fear, but the decision to face it and push through. These heroes teach us that resilience is not just about surviving, but thriving amidst adversity. It's about harnessing the strength within us to overcome obstacles and emerging stronger on the other side. In today's world, we face our own set of challenges, personal, professional, societal. Yet, just like these African heroes, we too can cultivate resilience. We can choose to stand up for what is right, to persist in the face of adversity, and to confront our fears head on. Draw strength from these stories of resilience. Remember, your spirit is unbreakable, your courage is unwavering, and your resilience is limitless.